So this is Atlas, ChatGPT's new AI browser. Yes, another one joining the party, but is it any different? Because AI browsers are not new, they're not even popular, and there is a good reason for that. When you open it for the first time, you notice that it's kind of awkward. It looks like ChatGPT, and you can use it like ChatGPT, ask any questions, and then you get your normal answer. But then you can also type a URL, and now it feels like Google Chrome, which is not a surprise because it is powered by Google Chrome. But then you have this button in the corner where you can open a ChatGPT window next to it and start asking questions. So it feels more like you're taking Google Chrome and opening ChatGPT next to it and using some tape to glue them together. But there are some cool ways to use it though. You can save money when buying things online. For example, you could ask ChatGPT to try different promo codes until one works. It takes a while, but it is pretty neat. We just saved like 200 bucks. But this is nothing new. Comet or any of the others have been doing this thing for a while now. Okay, maybe you are into LinkedIn. You can ask Atlas to go through your LinkedIn home feed and write comments for you. LinkedIn is just AI everywhere anyway, but anywho. The point is that even these kind of skills are nothing new. We have been seeing it for a while now. So I guess we have to answer actually two questions. Should I be using an AI browser? And if so, should I use Atlas? On the one side, I'm already paying for the Plus subscription, so I get more or less unlimited usage. And if you're on the free version, then the usage of ChatGPT, I mean the intelligent features, have the same limitations you are familiar with. On the other hand, I was already doing everything on ChatGPT. It would take some extra steps like copying and pasting things around, so I guess it's a little bit more convenient. But will it change the way we interact with technology? No. Will it make us more productive? No. Will it increase the risk of getting hacked? Yes. Even ChatGPT tells you to be careful when using it, as other AI browsers like Comet have been hacked in the last couple of months. And browsers have a lot of personal data you might not want to give away. And to be honest, all in all, I still prefer Comet, and still I don't think this is a game changer to me. Do you have any use case you love? Let me know in the comments below, and stay tuned to make AI work for you. Bye.